together the classic car of their dreams. Most kit cars rely on trusty Volkswagen frames, but a lower mainland company is now making a front engine kit car. This replica of a 1952 MGTD is a first for Canada's young component car industry. While kit cars have traditionally been based on a Volkswagen frame with the engine in the rear, this car, manufactured by a local company, Daytona Coach Builders, is the nation's first front engine component car. A uh, tubular steel frame using all new GM components. The motor's in the front instead of in the rear, which has traditionally been uh, the what a lot of people frowned on, you know, the, the comment has always been, well, beautiful car, which of course it is, but it's a Volkswagen. So, taking that to heart, we've redesigned the car. The car is designed to be built by the owner, so in the low end of the scale, uh, purchasing our kit for about $5,900, adding your own Volkswagen or Chevette, which is what this is based on, uh, your total out-of-pocket expense might, might come up to $9,000. Don't set your sights on this particular beauty, though, as it's already been snapped up by a California record producer. However, if you're handy with a wrench, you too could soon be wheeling your own classic car around town. The molds to make the body. Uh, we manufacture our own frame. It's a very solid tubular steel frame. Um, we manufacture the upholstery, the tops, the uh, dashes that we use are all solid exotic woods. There's no veneers. There's nothing inexpensive in this car. The, the materials that we use are the best that you can buy simply because it's, it's been a tough thing to sell. BD now hopes to crack the U.S. market in a big way. An associated company down there is already selling 300 MG replicars annually. A pre-assembled replicar can cost up to $19,000. It's a lot cheaper to buy the kit and do it yourself. They range in price from five to eight thousand uh, dollars on the kit side, and they take about eighty to hundred hours to build. They're they're fun to build. It's all the work is done for you. The hard work is done. Just the fun work's left. They're they're, they're pre-colored. They're trimmed. Uh, we even supply the nuts and bolts to put it together with. So you can't really make a mistake at all. We took the MG out for a spin today. It's a spunky, up-to-date version of the low-slung, racy ancestor that thousands of auto enthusiasts came to love and cherish. There's a rather horrifying end to this story. This little beauty is going to be reduced to a hunk of junk. Federal inspectors will give it a series of crash tests to see how it stands up to punishment. They want to make sure for the, uh, the Canadian public, I guess, and the American public, uh, that that uh, we're building a good, safe car. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. That must kind of break your heart. Well, uh, they're going to pay for them. <laughs> a sale's a sale. I guess you can do what you want with it.